Hello my friends, it's FPS Russia again and we're doing something a little bit different today. Normally we focus on the weapons, we see how powerful they are, what they can do. Today it's kind of the opposite side, instead of the sword, it's the shield. We're looking at AR-500 body armor, we're going to look at their soft body armor and their plate body armor. First we're starting with the uh, level 3A stuff, this is the soft body armor, it's very lightweight and we got it strapped to our ballistics gel friend here. We're going to back up, try a few different handgun calibers on it and uh, when we finally defeat this, I think we're going to step things up a few notches, so let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna go through this kind of fast. I don't want it to get too boring, too slow paced, so first we're going to start out with a 38 special, move our way up. Okay, now 9mm. Forty five ACP. Three fifty seven Magnum. Forty four Magnum. Okay, let's go take a look, see what we did. All right, so I'm actually pretty surprised. So you can see this is the front of the vest where we put all of that, uh, all of that ammo. And it tore in the back, of course. And we've got some tearing on this guy's front. But we don't have any bullets going through him. And that's what this body armor is supposed to do. It's supposed to make sure no bullets go through you. And it definitely did its job against all of those rounds. So let's step things up one more notch, see if we can shoot through this. Okay, so we put a brand new uh, Kevlar plate in there, got out our 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, and we got some special loads in here today. These are 500 grain projectiles traveling at over 1600 feet per second, so even if that Kevlar does stop it, he would have some serious rib damage. Let's see how this goes. It's a ton of recoil. I know it hurt me and I'm pretty sure it hurt him even more. Let's see how he did. Okay, so this actually surprised us all. This armor is rated for 44 Magnum up to, I believe, 1400 feet per second. And that was 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum going much faster than that. But it caught a projectile somewhere in here. So there's the round. That's just really impressive. I'm, I'm really surprised by this. I didn't think this would stop it. I thought this would go clean through. I do think you'd have tons of internal damage, but a bullet wouldn't go in you. 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Let's step things up a few more notches. Let's actually shoot through this stuff. Okay, so we step things up a few notches. This is AR-500 plate steel. So you've got one of these in the front of that vest, you've got one of these in the back, and you've got two smaller ones covering your rib cage. Now, this will stop virtually anything, all the way up to 308. We're going to test a variety of calibers, different types of bullets, and we're going to see what we do. One of the key uh, features about their armor, the anti-spalling coating. Now, basically what that does, when the bullet hits here, obviously it's going to splatter because it's not penetrating. The coating here prevents that shrapnel from coming up, hitting you in the chin, anywhere like that. It's a really effective system, so let's torture this stuff. Okay, so first things first, got my SBR here. This is 5.56 full metal jacket. It's pretty standard round. You're gonna run at this a lot. See what that armor can do. Got some more FMJ here. This is 7.62 by 39, obviously, coming out of our AK. Now we got 762 by 51 millimeter, or as most of you know, at 308. This is a serious round. When you stop something like this, you've really done something. This is a 458 SOCOM, one of the biggest, scariest rounds out there. It's not really meant to penetrate, 
but it's just fun to shoot. So let's test this too. Okay, now this is a little different. This is 5.56 again, but this time it's green tip, SS109. Now instead of using lead and copper against steel armor, we're using a steel penetrator against it. So let's see the results. Okay, we're going to go down range, see how our friend's doing. I think he did pretty well through all of that. Okay, so like I said, this is some really impressive armor. It stopped all of those rounds, defeated every single one of them. And I was talking about that anti-spalling coating earlier, and maybe some of you don't understand, but it's a very thick coating. You can see it here peeling back. Those bullets are contained between the armor on the back, which, as you can see, is pristine. Nothing punched through there. And, uh, and this coating right here. So you wouldn't get splattered by any copper jackets. You wouldn't get hurt by anything. I think you would just take that and go on about your day. So I'm really impressed with AR-500 armor. It looks like you could uh, trust your life with this stuff. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure you guys knew how much I uh, believed in this armor. Initially, I was going to wear the vest. I was going to get my buddy to shoot me. I was going to show that I really believed in the armor. But everyone thought that was a bad idea. I asked on Twitter, you guys thought it was a bad idea. My agent thought it was a bad idea. My network, YouTube, and most of my friends, they all thought it was a bad idea. But let me show you why I have so much confidence in the armor. Check this out. This is 30 rounds, 5.56. Five, Let's go for a closer look, see how that plate looks. So this was actually pretty cool because of this anti-spalling coating here. What it's doing, the rounds are penetrating through this, which is the coating, as I said, and they're being stopped by the steel plate on the back. So we got absolutely nothing coming through, but we just dumped an entire magazine into this thing. All of those rounds, all of those projectiles are encased in there. It catches them like a catcher's mitt. That way you're not getting any little pieces coming up, hitting you in the neck, the chin, ricocheting off. This contains everything. Really impressive. Let's move on. Okay, so one last thing. Got our 50 BMG here. I, I didn't even bother putting an optic on there. We're so close, so let's do this. So let's see how bad that was. Okay, so that was absolutely devastating. Let's take this guy apart so we can see what we did. So we definitely pierced the armor. You can see that not only would the bullet go through the first armor plate, but it was probably on fire and in the middle of exploding when it pierced the uh, collarbone area here. Then it pierced the other plate in the back and exited here. And then I probably shot a tree down somewhere in the forest. So AR-500 body armor is excellent armor. It will defeat just about any small arms, but if you've got to deal with a 50 BMG, probably not going to make it. If you're more interested in them, I put the link down in the description below. You can actually buy this body armor, believe it or not. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, have a nice day.